Hello everyone and welcome to skyla.com. My name is Dr. Divan and the topic of the lecture today is pneumocystitis pneumonia. In this lecture, we're going to talk about what pneumocystitis pneumonia is caused by, what's the causative organism, what's the pathogenesis of it, what organs does it destroy, what organ does it manifest, how do we diagnose it, what are the diagnostic modalities that are used in this scenario. Then we'll go for the uh, treatment options, That what treatment options do we have for this infection. First of all, we'll talk about what pneumostatus pneumonia is, what's the etiology of pneumostatus pneumonia is, which is ubiquitous, it is found in the environment. Then we're going to talk about in epidemiology, why HIV patients, organ transplant patients, hematological malignancy patients and immunosuppressive patients are more prone to getting this pathology. Next on, we'll talk about the life cycle of it, in which there are two life cycles, sexual life cycle and asexual life cycle. In this slide, the depicted life cycle is sexual life cycle in which two haploids will come in and will lead to this uh, deviant. In the asexual life cycle, we'll talk about how only one cell divides on its own and it does not require any other cell. It does not require any kind of conjugation or zygote formation. Next on, we'll talk about what role of immunity is. We're going to talk about how a defect in a cell or immune or humoral immunity will lead to decreased CD4 plus T cells, which will go to CD4 plus T cell count, leading to less than 200 cells per microliter, and how it leads to the development of PCP. In this lecture, we're going to talk about what lung manifestations are because pulmonary system is the first and primary most organ uh, target organ for this pathology. So we'll talk about how this organism gets into your systems and proliferate in the lungs and how it all leads to interstitial edema and fibrosis and how a patient will lead to respiratory failure afterwards. In this lecture, we're going to talk about what clinical presentation the patient will be presenting to you with, what, why the patient is getting this vague sense of dyspnea, why shortness of breath, why respiratory failure and which other organs have the chance of getting involved. Next on we have these diagnostic modalities in which we'll look for the decreased oxygen saturation because of the alveoli being destroyed. You will see the severe hypoxemia. You will see the signs of lung consolidation. You will see the development of diffused rails. You will see the oral thrush in HIV patients. We're going to talk about why do you get all of these manifestations. Next round, we're going to talk about what treatment of choice is, what the first choice of treatment is, which is written right here. It's a combination of the drugs, but if it does not work, we'll talk about what alternative therapies we might have or what adjunctive therapies we might have. So for watching this complete lecture, there's another variety of lectures which vary from anatomy, physiology, pathology, all the way to medicine and surgery, uh, which contains thousands of lectures. It, it also contains a free trial for you so that you might get familiarized with it. Please subscribe to skyler.com. Thank you for watching.